Uh, from a team perspective, uh, we started off five and one, so we're playing really well. And then in the last uh, I think seven or eight games, we've gone two and six. So not the best finish to the first uh, round, but hopefully we can get a few wins and uh, we can get back to the winning ways as a team standpoint. Uh, individually, it's been up and down so far, but uh, I've learned a lot. Uh, it's been a good experience. So um, hopefully uh, get a few good weeks together here and uh, play some good basketball. I think I'm doing well. Uh, obviously, the pressure with professional basketball uh, is pretty high, uh, especially in Europe. Uh, the fans are really passionate, and they uh, want your team to win all the time, obviously, along with the coaches and the staff and the organization. Uh, so but that's understandable. Uh, anyone that runs a business, such as a basketball team like this, um, wants their players to perform at top tier. So I just got to keep, keep improving individually, and hopefully that transfers to wins as a team. And, uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it, but it's good. Uh, the rules over here are a little different. Uh, basketball, obviously, is basketball, but... There's a few little rules like the traveling rule and different moves that you can't use over here. So uh, I've had to adjust my game a little bit and evolve it, but it's been good so I can expand my game. And uh, Yeah, at the start it was tough, but now I'm sort of learning a lot more. It's becoming a second nature, so it's a lot easier to play the game now. Yeah, my at Washington State, it was great. Uh, the, time of my life there. Uh, initially it was tough because I didn't play a lot, but uh, I think with any any person going overseas to a uh, top level college, it's going to be tough initially, but after the adjustment period and I uh, settled in pretty well and I ended up having a great four years. I enjoyed every minute of it and uh, I still follow them religiously, both basketball and football. Uh, unfortunately, they're not having a great season this year basketball wise, but Hopefully they can pick that up soon. Yeah, it was a great experience going through all those workouts and different teams and visiting different cities. Uh, I got to go against maybe a few of the top five and the top ten players that got drafted. So it was uh, I was blessed to have that uh, opportunity. Uh, Summer League was, uh, again, a good opportunity to play against those top guys. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't the best. A situation that I got in, but hopefully uh, I can make the most of it. Uh, I made the most of it, I, and uh, if I can get an opportunity to go back, it'll be great. Uh, obviously, always strive to get back to the NBA. Uh, if I can have a couple of good seasons over here, I think that opportunity will open up again. But right now, I just need to focus on uh, improving and uh, having a good year over here, and hopefully that translates to another opportunity down the track. Uh, well, I didn't make that team. That was unfortunate at the time, but, but it gave me the opportunity to play uh, volleyball for a year. And uh, in that time, I represented two Queensland teams and also the uh, All-Australian team. So I was lucky enough to have that as a backdrop and sort of take my mind off missing that while the other boys in my age group made that team. But uh, in playing volleyball, and uh, I enjoyed it a lot, but I realized that wasn't for me. Uh, I realized basketball was my passion. And so I came back, and it was an extra motivation to not make that team, to hopefully make it the next year. And uh, yeah, I was lucky enough to do so. Yeah, we were lucky, uh, especially in Queensland. We had such a tough age group. Uh, all the teams in the rep competition, uh, a great play. I think almost all of them had a player that went to the AAF. So uh, playing against those guys in my home state, like Bears, Esto, Mitch Young, Brendan Tease, those kind of guys uh, sort of prepped me pretty well to play against and play with the other guys from the other states. And, uh, yeah, that age group as a whole was great. I'd say Kieran Bone has influenced me the most. Uh, he's worked with me each summer when I come back from college. Uh, after my freshman year, I decided I wanted to come home uh, for the four months over the summer period where most of the guys stay over for summer school. And over that four-month period, I worked out with him at his house, in a gym, and also uh, on the court. So we'd work probably 
six six days a week, and I did that for four years every summer, and I can attribute a lot of my improvement to him. It's funny because I was thinking the other day in a grade seven, uh, I wouldn't even leave uh, for school camp because I was homesick and I was only a week away. But then uh, five years later, I ended up moving away from home uh, down to Canberra to the AIS and uh, then to the States and then obviously over here. So I think uh, moving to Canberra initially, which was only an hour and a half flight away, uh, was a little baby step for us both to get used to being away from each other, both my parents, my sister and myself being out of home. And then uh, obviously moving to the States for eight months and then coming home was a bigger pe adjustment period, but uh, they support me in everything I do, so I'm lucky in that respect. And uh, they got the opportunity to come over to America to visit me twice over the last two years, so lucky for them to get to see the country and uh, get out of the country. And also they're going to come visit me here in March for uh, four or five weeks to so get the chance to see Europe. So it's a good opportunity for for both of us, and I'm just thankful that they uh, support me 100% in anything that I do. I definitely follow the NBL. I got a few of my friends that play over there, and uh, I keep tabs on them, see how they're going. That looks like a really strong competition, and it's going the right direction. Uh, but right now, my focus is obviously over here, uh, doing what I can to improve myself and to try and move up the ranks and to eventually reach my dream of getting to the NBA. And right now, my focus is being over here and trying to get there. I'd say uh, work hard. There's no uh, secret to it. Uh, it's just hard work and spending time in the gym, in the, uh, on the court, working on your game. Uh, if you can find one thing that you're good at and uh, that you're special at that no one else can really do, I think work on that. There's a lot of guys that average or good at everything but you got to be great at one thing to stand out so you got to try and find your niche and once you find that uh, work on it for as much as you can and hopefully you can get that opportunity but uh, there's no uh, there's no substitute for uh, the time that you got to put in and hard work